<clears throat> okay so on this video I'm going to show you on how you can install your cPanel plugin for site auto backup this way your customers will be able to perform restore function directly from their cPanel account they don't have to ask you through support to perform the restoration and they can just access their backup files themselves and do the restore immediately so there's two steps here as you can see I am just going to go through the whole steps and show you how to perform these steps first you need to log into the server as root like this so as when you're logged in as root just start copying the commands here first I'm gonna make the directory and copy there so that will make the directory and the second line is I'm gonna go inside the directory there see and go inside there inside I need to copy this and then until this part here but I need to change that reseller key here to my own reseller key so I'm gonna just put this in my text edit and I need to log into my site auto backup account go to reseller reseller configuration and copy your reseller key and put that reseller key on that command to replace this exact part there with your reseller key so you'll have something like that make sure there is no spaces or anything in between and copy the whole thing and put it onto the command line so just to make sure it copies it correctly if I see the inside of the file you will see this access key and reseller domain with your own domain right so that looks good clear this out so step one is done and I'm gonna go ahead go to step two step two it's actually downloading and installing the cPanel plugin file itself so to do that I want to actually go to this directory first <clears throat> so I'm gonna go inside there and actually grab the file the plugin file using this command So put the plugin file inside um, USR local cPanel bin, right? So this file cloud restore.cpanel plugin should be residing here. Right? Okay. So we have it there. Now we want to perform the installation. So to do that, just run this whole line and we'll take a few sec a few seconds and just wait it out so let it finish installing remember to do this whole installation you need root access to your VPS or your dedicated server or your even your cloud server and it has to run a web host manager cPanel so that's done so that's pretty much it um, it's ready to go so what happens is if your cPanel users log in for example this one logs in into their cPanel account and you already perform backups of these cPanel accounts from your um, backup manager here see for example they're already set up here they're either backed up here or under your reseller users they are already backed up here if they're already backed up 
so they will have access on their own cPanel account they will have this new icon under files you see cloud restore right so if you click there it will list all the backup files they have for this particular cPanel account they can see the screenshots of each backup file the front page of the of the backup file and they can choose to download the file if they want to to their own computer and they can perform a restore by clicking and choosing any of these backup files so if I choose that it'll prompt a request you are about to restore your existing cPanel account with a backup file this one upon executing the restore process all data in your existing or current cPanel account will be permanently replaced with the backup data and this cannot be undone so it has to be confirmed so I'm just going to use my Yahoo email and once the restoration is done um, our system will send a notice here okay process restore now executing a restore this will take a while do not close this window wait for a response below so this is actually um, removing the existing cPanel account right so if I close this it'll send a notice here once it's done so if I close here even if I go to my web host manager and I find this it's gone because it's been removed automatically right and once that's done just wait it out um, it'll be finished in a few minutes if I go to my Yahoo um, just wait it out Move the spams here. It takes a couple of minutes, so let me just go back. And let's just check it out here as well. If I go find, oh, it's still restoring. The cron job to actually perform the restore runs every single minute, so it takes at least two minutes to complete. Still restoring. And for bigger files, bigger backup files, it'll take a bit longer to restore. So make sure you have. Um, a reseller account to be able to use the cPanel plugin and also um, you have to go to this you have to make sure you have a, a WHM server for restore it has to be listed here first then that feature will work if you don't have this WHM server listed here yet you cannot um, have those cPanel plugin to work. You can actually add more if you go here, add, and you just add more here by adding your web host manager details and submitting the details. So let's see if the restore is done now. There you go, and I I think it should have the. Yeah, and even as a reseller, uh, the 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 email will come from your your email setup. Restore notice notice at website backup solution dot com. This is the actual domain you set up here, so it won't come from site auto backup. It's it's gonna come from this domain you set up here. So as you see, the notice comes from restore notice at website backup solution dot com so um, this is your domain as well restore duration two minutes and there you go once um, that notice came to your customer they can start to manage their cPanel account right away like that and everything should be in place 
Thanks for watching and enjoy the site auto backup service.